Hey guys, Adam here, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about tiny homes and what the best toilet solutions are if you've got an off-grid cabin or a tiny home, you're looking for a toilet solution. Now, generally speaking, uh, there really is only a couple of options for true off-grid or tiny home settings that people generally entertain. Because these are houses, these are homes, generally speaking, people are not gonna use bucket toilets or poo in a bag type of toilets. And they're also not gonna use chemical toilets because it is a job that repeatedly needs to be done of emptying into a chemical dumping station. Often where tiny homes are or off-grid homes are, that's just not something you wanna do on a consistent basis of you know, having to pour it out and you know, see and smell the poo and the wee again and again and again. Or you're simply in a location where you don't have access to a dumping point or a toilet that's plumbed into town sewer. Remember, you can't put chemical toilets into septic systems, so where do you put it if you're truly off-grid? So really what you'll find is a lot of tiny home people and a lot of off-grid users will go for a composting toilet. And composting toilets are a fantastic solution. They are fairly cumbersome to install, but if you're building a tiny home, then you probably can get that done. It's only a small thing compared to the rest of the build. And composting toilets do offer a good solution. The challenge, as I said, quite cumbersome to install and you can only put in a composting toilet what comes out of your body and very thin toilet paper and nothing else. This Lavio toilet, on the other hand, takes anything. You put feminine products, normal luxurious toilet paper, all that sort of stuff, and you can take it with you. So you literally put it down, use it. There's a little battery in the back which lasts for up to 300 flushes or three months with just a one hour charge. So you could take it to the tiny home with you. You could leave it there. If you wanna go camping away from the tiny home, you can take this with you and have a flushing toilet outside of that environment. Whereas with a composting toilet, it's in the tiny home, that's all there is and it's there. The other great thing about this Lavio uh, dry flush unit is that uh, it has no smell at all. So when you go to the bathroom, you do your business, you push the flush button, it grabs all of the waste in the Mylar bag and it wraps it around four times, locking all the smell in there indefinitely. And so it doesn't stink up your tiny home. Even if you leave the waste sitting in there for months at a time, it is all locked in there in an airtight uh, container, which is really, really good. When it comes time to empty, uh, you'll know because on the inside of the bags inside, you'll see a red line comes up. You know that's the end of the, the bag. You simply grab the garbage bag, which is holding the waste, you spin it around, and you take it with you next time you're going to a garbage bin, like a wheelie bin, just like dumping a doggy poo bag um, or throwing away dirty nappies and you're good to go. So this is a really, really good solution for tiny homes. It depends how much you use it. The big upside of a composting toilet is it's fairly low maintenance cost. It's just the cost of the, um, the peat bricks to go in. It's a very, very affordable solution. This one here, there's a cost to the Mylar bags um, and it can be expensive if you're living in the tiny home on a permanent basis. But if you're out there for a week or two weeks or a month at a time and that's it and you're somewhere else the other time, this can be a really, really great solution. Super, super convenient. You just take the waste when you go and you're good to go and you've got a portable toilet for anything else that you might be doing. So there it is. It's a new player in the space of toilet solutions for tiny homes, zero installation, um, no smell, no winding of handles or uh, having to keep the uh, composting moving. You just simply take the waste with you when you're ready to go and that's it. So those are the two options, composting and Lavio, in my opinion. Uh, it depends on your needs, how much you're using the space uh, and which you prefer the two. The other big thing, of course, is that with a composting toilet, you generally separate your solids from your liquid. So when you do a wee, you do have that canister. You've got to carry that canister of urine. You've got to dump it somewhere, go back, clean it and put it back in. Here, you don't have to do that. You simply use the toilet, number one, number two in the bowl. It all gets wrapped up. It's all locked up. It's all clean and done in one spot. So up to you. Both good solutions. Hopefully that was helpful for you.